Hey folks, today I'm going to give you a preview of Chrome's latest work to bake in AI directly in the browser. This is using local on-device models. We're going to be using Gemini Nano, and let's dive right in. So our initial work to explore AI in the browser was around the Prompt API. This allowed you to interact directly with a model in a relatively freeform way, the same way that you would something like ChatGPT. So here I can go and I can begin chatting um, with the model. I'm saying hello and it's saying hi there. Notice how quick those responses are. I can ask it a question like what's the capital of France and see what it says. So it'll say the capital of France is Paris. Awesome. I can continue doing that um, and that's super useful. And what we've been doing recently is also exploring special use case APIs. So more specific um, explorations into writing, rewriting, summarizing text. Um, and I wanted to show you some of those as well. So let's first of all try out the writer API. This allows you to generate new content based on a writing task. So I'm going to ask it to write me a post about my trip to Paris last week. Um, I visited some tourist destinations, I enjoyed some local food, and I took some photos. Let's see what it does and how quickly it can do this. Now this is on my MacBook. Um, it's computing. Let's see what it's able to generate for us. So here it's managed to generate me a post, something I can go and post on a social network or attach a photo to. So I had a blast on my trip to Paris last week, started my day with a visit to the Eiffel Tower, had a chance to try some local food, some escargot, some brulee, and I can customize this text in whatever way I want. Now, awesome, so it was able to generate some text. I'm going to copy this text now. There's also the Rewriter API, which allows us to refine and restructure existing text. So we're just going to paste in, actually, the post that um, we just generated. And what I'm going to do is I've got a few options I've customized here. I can make it more formal, more casual. I can make it shorter. I can make it longer. Let's make it sound um, a little bit more casual and see what it does. So it's rewriting the content right now. Um, I'm very interested to see like how it can be more casual. So it says I had an amazing time on my trip to Paris. Um, and some of the language here is a, a little bit simpler. Some of it's similar to what we had before. But in general, it's tried to find places where um, it could be a little bit more friendlier. If we were to go and say, you know, make the text shorter, that might also give us a, an interesting demo. So here it's managed to uh, rewrite it into something that's two lines long. Now let's say that um, I wanted to take this long form content and just come up with a, a much uh, simpler version of it. So I can do a TLDR, a headline, or key points. Um, let's try out the TLDR uh, real quick on this and see what it's able to generate. So I now have a one paragraph version of it that maintains some of the key bits of the text. I'm able to also do a version that can generate me some key points. You'll notice I've got a bullet list here. Awesome. I can also do things like translation. We're actually exploring a separate translation API, but um, while that's baking, I'm just going to show you uh, what it would be like if we were to go ahead and translate. Let's actually translate the um, bullet points that we just generated. So we have this here. Um, I'm just going to go and translate this. I can translate it to Spanish. Since we're, we're talking about France, let's translate this content to French. And there we go. Uh, un promenade de bateau sur le sien. So we've got uh, uh, all four of these working here. Um, this is really amazing stuff. You can go and you can check out, you can play around with these APIs today. Uh, we've got write-ups on most of this content you can find on developer.chrome.com. You'll be able to enable many of these experiments uh, from the Chrome Flags uh, settings page and our components page. But do check it out. I hope that you find um, our latest in the built-in API explorations really, really useful. Thank you and cheers.